We're just really uh, excited to uh, go out and watch our guys perform. Uh, worked extremely hard since January 1st. Uh, they put in a lot of hard work, and now's the time to go out and get to play in front of our home crowd and uh, play against Fordham and and uh, watch them work. Watch, watch them work in a live game. I'm really excited about it. It's a good good group of guys, and I'm really really fired up about watching them work for the last eight months. Uh, how hard they've worked, all they put into it, and now we, you know, the the great thing about football is you only get 12 guaranteed opportunities. So uh, Saturday's game one for us, and. Got a good opponent coming in here in Fordham, and uh, we're excited about uh, getting out there Saturday. You know, we've been putting a lot of work um, past these past couple weeks, you know, watching film, um, just uh, game planning for them. Um, it's going to be exciting. Uh, you know, we got to come out, uh, like Coach always says, uh, have our warrior meter uh, on 10. Uh, got to be hyped for this game. So we've been prepping well. Um, you know, been a lot of guys have been watching film, getting ready for them. So we've just been, you know, practicing at a high intensity. You know, we're going to try to come out. Uh, play aggressive um, from the start, from play one. So I think uh, that's just what we've been focusing on right now. Uh, they definitely will be able to see that. Um, this defense is a lot different than last year. Um, I, I believe that we are much more aggressive defense than last year because you know Coach Bench has come in, done a great job. Um, you know that's one thing that they emphasize in practice is running to the ball. And you know, if we don't run to the ball, we we either doing up downs, we got to do that play over again. So I think uh, fans are going to be uh, excited to see. This defense because it's a whole, a whole different defense. You know, I think just around the defensive ball, you know, we got a bunch of leaders. And we're not, it's not just one leader, it's not just like the, the, the backers that are leaders. I think we have leaders all around our defense, you know, and, and Jeff Gimmel, and Juwan Foggy, Tariq Harris, a bunch of other guys. So I think it's going to be uh, fun to see, um, see us get out there and get after it. Yes, yes, it has. Um, every practice, uh, coach wants us to uh, force three turnovers at least every practice. So, um, and like, like I say, you know, for not running the ball, we get penalized. Um, by doing up downs, and I think you know he's um, after practice. If we don't get three turnovers, uh, we got to run extra. So that's something that we practice too. You know, we're practicing good habits. Like you know, the first person in, uh, you know, wrap up the ball carrier, and he's uh, preaching to us. You know, second man coming is trying to strip the ball out. So I think uh, forcing turnovers is definitely something that we focus on uh, from spring ball and throughout camp. Um, really, just you know, the complete offense. Um, you know, we're more of a pro style now, and. Uh, do a lot of things under the center. So, you know, uh, ID and, you know, defense and uh, making sure everybody knows who they have on protection wise and, you know, uh, running back wise, um, catching the ball out of the backfield, you know, that's a big thing that's going to help us and uh, give us a, an advantage on the other deal, on the other side. Really just, you know, just using the last year as a motivation. You know, that's, you know, you know you're never going to forget a season like that. So, you know, we don't really talk about it much. We just keep it in our front, front mental and just, work every day, you know, and just come out here and uh, do what we got to do and uh, make a statement. No, we, I don't know if it's imposing your will, it's going out and executing what you do. Um, you know, there's going to be things that come up in the game that, that the guys haven't seen just because it is new. It's a new, uh, it's a new staff and, um, you know, they came over from Yale and they're doing a really good job. I mean, they had success in the past. So um, there's going to be things that come up that we haven't seen. Uh, but I think it's all about how you execute. You know, it's, there's only so many ways you can line up. Uh, and so you've got to go out and execute at a high level with a high intensity level. And so uh, that's what we're looking to do. Yeah, that's kind of the, the in, in college football, you know, it's a lot of perimeter plays. Uh, those are really just extended running plays. Just get the ball in somebody's hand as fast as you can and let them work in open, open space. Uh, We've utilized our running backs, you know, all camp, you know, out of the backfield, try to get him the ball in open space. And it's easy with a guy like Ben because he's a really, really good catcher of the football. I mean, he's, uh, you know, a skilled guy at catching the ball. So it's it's easy. Sometimes a running back will struggle with that a little bit because they don't do it as much. But, uh, you know, Ben's a natural catcher of the football. So, um, I mean, getting him in open, open field is uh, really important for us. But... The number one thing about Ben is his, his vision, his feet, his balance, uh, his toughness to get to get the hard yard, and and so um, we're gonna we're gonna count on that. Uh, but having him kind of in the eye back position, so to speak, a little more has been good for him uh, when the quarterback's up under center, uh, so he can see things, read it, be patient, uh, and so that I think that's really helped him from a running back standpoint. All the guys, but especially Ben. Sure. There are times when there will be two running backs in the game. A-Mac and Ben will be in the, in the game, and we have that personnel grouping uh, with a lot 
other personnel groupings, but uh, that's one of them, no question. Um, no, that's not really, you know, pressure. It's just, you know, the team basically uh, telling me that they trust me, you know, enough to, to, to lead the team the way they need to go. So, you know, I just took it in stride and, you know, uh, kept doing what I've always done and just keep uh, keep progressing. But, um, you know, of course, yeah, catching, you know, that's one thing I've always worked on and one thing that I stress uh, hard because, like you said, you know, running backs don't do it that much out of the backfield. And so when your number's call, you want to be, you know, 100%. So that's one thing that you want to. Want to do. Oh, yeah, there's no real, like, you just got to go experience it. You know, the freshmen are fun because, like, one of them made a comment to me when we scrimmage, wow, coach, this game's a lot faster than high school. I said, wait till we get to the game. You know, so they, you just have to go out and experience it. I mean, there's no way to really, um, you know, our old guys have done a good job of leading them and teaching them. And, you know, you scrimmage a lot. So you're like, okay, they, they're trying to get the speed of the game. But you just have to go out and experience it and experience the stadium full and the crowd. and. You know, they'll be the freshmen will be they'll be plenty amped up. You know, they'll they'll they're just excited for their first game, and so the young guys will be they'll they'll just have to get their feet wet, get hit first. You know, all, all those things you have to go through when you're a new player. So um, you just have to experience it. But I am proud of our old guys. Uh, they they've done a really good job of leading this group um, and setting the tone every day. Because I think if if you're you're working one day at a time and, and showing up with your best attitude every day. That's gonna lend. That's gonna lend good things for you on Saturday when you get in the game. So um, we've done a good job of that, I think. Yeah. Well, really good up to this point. I really have liked, like I said in the opening statement, the last eight months watching this group work and adding pieces along the way, whether that's Evan in May or you know whoever it is along the way. Then the freshman in July, you add your pieces as you go. But uh, I've really enjoyed watching this group work since January, and and you know you move to 2018. Every year's Every year's different. Every team's different. Uh, you know, so you you really just go out there and push on them. We've really made a big deal about, you know, handling one day at a time. You know, what kind of attitude do I show up with today to help me become a better man and football player? And so that's how you're successful in October is you've established, hey, one day at a time because there's going there's to be adversity Saturday, you know. So... That's how you handle it is, you know, just, hey, I stay in this moment right here. And as we say a lot, you know, the most important play in football is the next one.